Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick video to talk about a cumulative update that has been released for Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. It was released yesterday, November 30th, uh, late in the day. Um, I'm talking about this update uh, today, December 1st. So it's uh, KB405-1963. You see it here, the first quality update that you see here at the top. So it is available for Fall Creators Update. Uh, there was also another update for those on the Anniversary Update this week. So if you're on the old Anniversary Update, uh, you also had some bug fixes. So what does this bring? Uh, it fixes a ton of little problems. Um, the fix a script related, related issue that caused Internet Explorer to stop working. Address an issue with the input method um, in the text input in the Internet Explorer. Uh, addressed issues with rendering a graphics element in Internet Explorer. So a lot of Internet Explorer fixes here. Um, form submission in uh, Internet Explorer also. They fix an issue where the location hash is lost when navigating back um, and gives you an invalid URL. Addressed issue where applications may stop responding for customers who have Internet or where proxies enabled. Um, Microsoft Outlook cannot connect to Microsoft Office 365. They fixed issues with uh, Explorer and Edge that cannot successfully render uh, some content, including local computer content. Uh, Cisco Jabber stops responding. They fix an issue where application service that relies on WinHTTP is impacted. Uh, performance issues with DirectX 9 on non, uh, when you run full screen um, games and applications using the old DirectX 9. Addressed issue uh, that prevents Forza Motorsport 7 and Forza Horizon 3 from running. Uh, issues where user selection and feedback frequency uh, aren't saved. Also some uh, issue where R and the ISS network or in this uh, networking devices don't get a valid IP. Addressed issue where if a user manually changes the system time zone and doesn't log off and restart, the new time doesn't display on the lock screen. And addressed issue where some Epson dot matrix and um, POS printers were failing to print on uh, x86 and x64 based systems. So that's pretty much what happens here. And uh, there are a few little bits of uh, issues also there. Well, there's actually one issue about this update. You know that after in installing this uh, update, Internet Explorer 11 users who use SQL Server reporting service may not be able to scroll through a drop-down menu. So that's pretty much uh, what's happening. And there is a workaround, by the way, for that. And these are more advanced users. So some fixes um, in this update. No security updates here. So, you know, there's no urgent urgency to install it. But if you had some issues, maybe this could fix some of the issues you've got. And once it's done, you should be, if you look at your Windows version, you should be at 16.299.98. This is the latest OS version now, 16.299.98. So check your Windows updates. And uh, yep, yeah, bug fixes mainly on this uh, update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.